Hello, this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an applications expert with MLC CAD Systems. I'm covering the SOLIDWORKS 2017 What's New Information for Model-Based Definition, or MBD. This video is going to be covering the enhancements for templates and outputting to a 3D PDF. If we take a look inside of SOLIDWORKS, I already have a model-based definition project completed, and I'm ready to start editing my template and then finally publishing this to that 3D PDF. So I'm going to launch my 3D template editor. 2017 has a lot of enhancements regarding the template and really streamlining your ability to make this very, very consistent and to conform to your company's standards. One of these enhancements is the ability to have everything regarding a text when you click on a text box just right at your fingertips. It's very easy to read, very streamlined. You can easily choose all of these different fields and parameters. But if you want to take this a step further, you can also make use of a new feature called the Format Painter. So I simply click on the Format Painter and click what I want to copy the format over to, and we can see that this is now perfectly to our standard. Everything is exactly the same. So a really fast way to streamline this process to give you some great consistency. Also in 2017, we have the ability to align specific text boxes like the ones highlighted where we can see that they're definitely not lining up. There's the new align functionality where I can say I'm going to align through the middle and now everything's perfectly lined up. If I wanted to create an outline around this notes area, I can certainly do that as well. I can simply click to create a rectangle, expand this, the edges snap into place, and again I have a lot of flexibility, a lot of control over exactly how this rectangle looks, whether it's the border thickness or the fill color or even the corner radius. We have a lot at our disposal and it's very easy to read with these flyout boxes. Now we have an issue where my rectangle is actually in front of my notes, and we can't have that. But in 2017, I can simply say, hey, send this to the back. Now we have a notes area that is very streamlined and it's very professional looking. The ability to copy and paste items between different sheets is also greatly streamlined. I'm simply using a copy and paste, control C, control V, inside of model-based definition. One of the other enhancements that we see here is a three detail view sheet that we were just on. This is going to have all of our views and thumbnails is usually the first sheet. That is no longer a requirement, especially when you have this information sheet that we want to be first. I can simply reorder these sheets and even rename the first sheet to make sure that everything is very clear and concise. And once we're done, we're ready. We can save this and then we're good to go to use this to export. So I'm going to publish this to a 3D PDF. Again, I can choose from a variety of different templates, including the one I just created. I can choose which views I want to output. But in 2017, I can now also choose my accuracy. If I want a low accuracy PDF just to see how it's going to look, or if I want it to be small, that's now a simple radio button option. I can also choose between medium, high, or maximum, and I can simply click on the radio button. In 2017, we can also attach files to our 3D PDF. For example, if I want this vendor approval form to be included, this is just a Microsoft document, it's very easy to simply attach these. And I can even say, create a step 242 file with all of my PMI information. And when I export this out, we're going to see that these items are now attached to my 3D PDF. So this again is very fast, easy way to streamline your process. All of the information that you need to send to manufacturing is going to be in one concise location. And we can also take a look through our actual PDF. And again, we still have all the functionality we're used to. We can still pan, zoom, rotate, and see all of our highlighted faces and values. So some really great enhancements regarding templates and creating templates and the ability to output exactly the information we want is greatly streamlined in 2017. So if you have any questions about 
templates or outputting information in model-based definition, feel free to give us a call at 800-364-1652, option 8, or you can email us at solidworksupport at mlc-cad.com. Again, we welcome any questions that you have regarding some of this new content. Thanks.